Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, if you're new here, and I am the author of the blog CapturingWinterland.com. Have I got a treat for you? I am back bringing you some more vanilla goodness. This is a recent project and I feel like the whole world needs to know about it. So let's make a little bit of Madagascar vanilla bean simple syrup. This is such an easy process. Honestly, it is three ingredients. Technically it's three ingredients, but you could add the fourth. I'll go into a little bit more detail a little bit later about that. Look at this gorgeous bottle of vanilla bean simple syrup. Can you see the caviar specks in there? Yes, I used one of my precious Madagascar vanilla beans, one that I got in recently to make this recipe. And guys, I am not sorry about it at all. I'm still holding it in a rag because it's still warm quite a bit warm to the touch because I just made a fresh batch of this. I could not believe how easy it was to make and I licked everything clean. So you don't have to worry about how it tastes because I licked the pot clean, I licked the spoon clean, plate, anything that touched this, I was licking because it is like candy. I know it's sugary, so you know, that goes without saying. But the added vanilla flavor to this is absolutely spectacular. You will not be sorry if you make this yourself. So here is the easy process. You need to make a single fold. In this case, it represents the ratio of sugar to water. So you can make a single fold using one cup of sugar and one cup of water. You just put that into a small saucepan and you let it simmer until the sugar is completely dissolved. Once the sugar is completely dissolved, you will take it off of the heat and let it cool down. Now, you might see recipes where people are telling you to put the vanilla bean in and let it simmer that way, but you don't wanna do that because heat will negatively affect the vanilla bean or even vanilla extract. Um, it actually kind of kills the potency, so you wouldn't wanna do that. You just wanna take the pot directly off of the heat and you wanna let it cool down maybe 10 or 15 minutes until it is not exactly cool, but you can stick your finger in it without burning it, basically. And then you're going to take an actual vanilla bean. And by the way, you don't have to use an actual vanilla bean. You could use vanilla extract. I used an actual vanilla bean and it will be a very different taste if you use vanilla extract versus a vanilla bean for all the reasons that you might suppose. A fresh vanilla bean will obviously have much more flavor and much more vanilla actual flavor versus whatever the store-bought version has in it. But you can use vanilla extract if that's all you've got or all you can afford. You can definitely do that. I use an entire vanilla bean and what the ratio of vanilla bean to, to vanilla extract would be, like the exchange rate, would be two inches of vanilla bean per teaspoon. So I'm gonna guess that this vanilla bean was at least six inches long. So that would mean three teaspoons of vanilla extract. You can add more if you want to. Obviously vanilla is like garlic to me. I just kind of add it with my heart. So whatever my heart tells me to do, that's what I'm adding into it because I love vanilla flavored. So either you're adding in vanilla extract homemade or store-bought is fine too. For the vanilla bean though, you're going to want to split the bean down the center. I use a seam ripper simply because that was recommended to me and it really is super simple. Instead of using a paring knife, which squashes the whole bean <laughs> and might be a little bit more tricky. So use a seam ripper, super easy. Just split it down the center and you're gonna see all of that gorgeous caviar right in the center of the vanilla bean. You're going to want to scrape all of the caviar out. I used a spoon and go ahead and put that into your simple syrup. Spin it around, get all of the caviar off of the spoon as much as possible. Then you're left with the empty bean pod, which is still gold, so we're gonna use that. I went ahead and cut my vanilla bean in half lengthwise, and then I cut it into two inch pieces, and then I added all of that to the vanilla simple syrup as well. You're gonna wanna let that sit and cool down a little bit, stir it, let it all mix up, and then you're going to use a little bottle, or you could use a mason jar, pretty much any jar will do. You just wanna make sure that it's got 
got an airtight lid so that it can stay fresh and safe to consume. So I use these little swing top jars because I love them. I got them at Target, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. So you want to make sure to sterilize your bottle because that will help keep the shelf life that much longer if you have a sterile bottle. So clean it really well. I use boiling water to sterilize it and then just use a funnel. And then I go ahead and put the beans in first so that they don't impede the syrup from coming out. So I just plop the beans in. And then I pour the rest of the syrup in there. And guys, that could be ex like all there is to it. However, I want to step further because I want to expand my shelf life for these. So I went ahead and used two tablespoons of my homemade vanilla extract, which is still extracting. So it's mostly alcohol at this point. That's okay. Cause you actually need the alcohol to make the shelf life that much farther. A simple syrup will last two to three weeks, either refrigerated or um, in an airtight container out of direct sunlight. However, if you do a double fold, which would be a ratio of two cups of sugar to one cup of water, you can make it last like twice that length because the sugar actually will give it a little bit more shelf stability. But you can also add a tablespoon, again, with your heart, but at least a tablespoon of alcohol like vodka to your vanilla simple syrup and it will extend the shelf life to like six months, guys. So I went ahead and added two tablespoons of my homemade vanilla extract, which was made with Everclear grain alcohol. And if you did not see that video, you should go and watch that now because that is by far the best way to make homemade vanilla extract. Obviously, I will link that below for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that video up here so you can watch it when you're done here. But guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. Sugar, water, vanilla, and a little bit of alcohol if you want to make that shelf life last longer. What can you use vanilla bean simple syrup in? pretty much anything. I made this because I am going to delve into some fancy fall drinks and I noticed that a lot of the recipe is called for vanilla syrup. And I'm not gonna go out and buy store-bought vanilla syrup, guys. No, you can make it so easily and very inexpensively. And obviously I know exactly what's in this now. So I don't have to worry about any artificial flavorings or preservatives put into it that I'm not sure what they are. Plus it just, it takes a couple of minutes guys. So no need to go out and buy it when you can just make your own. So yeah, I made this because I am about to share some more fancy drinks with you for fall. If you are into that kind of thing, I, love a good fancy drink, but I am not one to go out and spend the money on it. So if I can learn how to make them myself, I think that I could enjoy a bit more of that pumpkin spice that everybody loves within my budget. So if you're like me and you wanna save money, stick along because I'm gonna share some delicious things with you coming up. This is just the start of it. This is what I would consider a base ingredient and in a lot of other recipes coming up. I wanted to make sure to have plenty of it on hand. So this is actually the second bottle I made. The first bottle is about half gone because it is delicious and I have used it in several coffee drinks recently. I'm going to probably gain weight this fall because of taste testing recipes. Um, that is a burden I'm okay with, so. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like the video if you like this kind of content. I'm always trying to gauge what type of content my audience wants to see from me. If you like watching some recipe type videos, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions on it. Also, if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would be a part of this community here at Capturing Wonderland. And don't forget to share this with anybody that you think would enjoy having delicious Madagascar bean vanilla simple syrup in their cabinet, all of the holiday baking and recipes that are coming up because there's a lot, guys. All right, thanks again. Can't wait to share some more with you. Oh, and one more thing before you go. Don't forget to check out the blog post at capturingwonderland.com. I have the printable recipe and directions there for you and so much more. Thanks guys, bye.